Christian, talk to us about your other teammates. Uh, give us updates on Philip. Give us updates on Ludger. There's a lot still to jump this year. Is there information you can give us when we will see them back in GCL? Uh, well, I, actually, I think next week. Philip for sure. Yeah, he, he, will, he will be jumping next week. Yeah, he will be jumping in Stockholm together with uh, Owen. That's for sure. Yeah. And uh, Ludger is on a two-star show in Germany. And um, if everything goes well there, he's planning to go as a third rider at least to Stockholm next week. Okay, great. So big warning cry to the teams around the Nisenbeck International that there are some big names that are returning to the lineup and they will only be stronger going forward. Let's show you the rounds then of Rizemak International this evening. And let's try and get you guys to comment. Talk to us about what was going on at this time. Let's show you then Rizemak International, Philip Schuh. Talk to us here. Start us off. Get us underway with what was going through your mind. What was happening here? Uh, here I found found my rhythm actually. Yep. Uh, the, the beginning was worse, but here it was okay. I thought when we walked the course we were like, okay, this Oxa from from the entrance away. We, oh. <laughs> <laughs> These Oxas, we need a little rhythm. I like the reaction. I like the reaction. <laughs> Christian, your turn. What is going through your mind in these jumps here? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I knew it's a very, very tough uh, course, but I also know that my horse is made for tough courses. Yeah. So I just tried to stay cool and uh, to use. Wow, that was a, <laughs> that was a nice jump. <laughs> it was a very nice jump. Absolutely, yeah. there were a lot of nice jumps. Yeah, in very nice. Night. I mean, that that horse is incredible, and um, you know, the, the, the only thing is that I'm not used to her on this level so much and she's also only nine years old. That is such a good point because you're jumping on a nine-year-old, exactly. you're jumping on a ten-year-old. You would think those are really young horses that you want to just test. You weren't testing young horses, you're winning GCL stages. How is it possible that you two are winning GCL on such young horses? You really do well to get the oh. most out of them, huh? Well, I, I mean, I have to say the, the, the quality of that horse is ju just outstanding. It's, it's not a normal young horse. Um, I mean, m my one won already a, a Grand Prix in, in Doha. The only thing is that I'm only sitting on her now for a few months. So, And that was my first 160 uh, course. And, y you know, there's always a partnership and you have to get, the horse has to get used to you and you have to get used to the horse. And um, Yeah, but in general, it's, it's an outstanding horse. That's why she's able to do it. Um, and I'm only trying to do my job as best as I can and uh, that worked out today and yeah so so we are happy I mean Philip's horse is also only 10 but with him as a rider I think he rode it already for years now um, so that it's a it's a relationship already yeah. you can say and uh, for sure that makes it easier but that's two outstanding horses we have to say that also on the whatsapp group with the team do you talk about records? Because let me tell you, three wins for Riesenbach International already this year. The record is five wins in a season. That's held by London Knights. You then still have a huge amount of time to only find two to tie and a third one to become the most record wins ever in a championship year. Do you talk about records on the team? Do you talk about numbers? Does anyone push for this for you? Actually not. Um, what is important for us is the number one here on, on the band there yeah. at the end of the league stage. And uh, the rest, uh, nice side facts, I guess, but uh, to win a stage is, is the focus and to win at, at the end of the season, it's impossible. But uh, records, actually, I didn't know about it. So you don't care about records as long as you have this at the end of the year? Records are just for to get beaten by someone else. I mean, uh, they, are, they are never forever. So uh, it would be nice uh, to say, okay, now we won six times and that's a record. But um, I mean, in the end, if we, if we don't do a good job in the other shows, even if we win six stages, maybe another team is more consistent and wins the overall. So that doesn't mean always uh, in the end. And that's what Philip said. In the end, it's the number one here is important and, and then for sure at the end of the year it's important. I was going to say, you make a good and point, the records may fall away but that championship win will never fall away. No one will ever take that away from you, so good plan. Follow the championship, not the records, I like that. Christian Cook, Cook Philip Schulz are top off, well done, congratulations. Reason back, back on top. It's a very busy summer still, so we won't see you in Stockholm, but we will see your teammates. And I look forward to seeing what comes from Riesenbach for the rest of the year. Thank you again. Congratulations, Riesenbach International. Thank you. Your Thank winners you. in Cannes 2023. Three championship wins on top of the overall championship standings once again.